Hey guys, welcome back to Dante's Jurassic Reviews, and I'm here to do my first video on my channel for 2022. And I haven't been posting a video in a while because I've been busy with, you know, like school and family stuff. Yeah, but um, I'm here to do one of my first ever top 10 videos on my channel of top 10 figures I got in the year 2021. And they're my favorite. And I couldn't post this during... Uh, after New Year because I was super busy with stuff but since it's already the 2022 I'll decide to show the best figures I ever got on 2021 so let's get into it right now and for my number 10 spot is the studio series oh number was it I can't see it the studio series Bumblebee movie star screen and for number 10 this is actually this is not my favorite figure I got in there last year but it's a cool figure because it's my first ever star screen and I don't have you know the Michael Bay star screen because I haven't found it and so I decided to get the Bumblebee movie one because I do like the design the only thing I don't like about it is the head I like the head of Blitzwing more than the star screen head yeah but a really nice figure I do not like how the transformer it's really kind of hard but still a fun figure and there he goes his gun that's one complaint I have and I will review this guy in the future. But yeah, this is my number 10 spot. Great figure, not the best transformation to me, but still a great figure. For my number 9 spot is the Soundstrike Camp Cretaceous Sinceratops. And I know it's called Sinoceratops, but I prefer, I prefer calling it Sinceratops. Yeah, but this figure has been one I've been wanting since 2020, but I haven't seen it in store shelves until... Uh, January of 2021 where I found it at my HEB and, and I got it and it's one of my best figures I ever got from the Mattel line one of the best Ceratopsians Mattel has ever done number one has probably has to go to the Pentaceratops but I don't have that figure yet but still amazing figure that Mattel has done and I'm really happy to find this finally for my number eight spot is the Camp Cretaceous War Attack Ceratosaurus and I love the Ceratosaurus from the Jurassic Park franchise and I did have the Roar of War one from 2019 but I'm not a big fan of the of the like color scheme so I did repaint it but the thing I didn't like about it is that it couldn't stand up right it always kept falling so when I heard that Mattel was making a new Ceratosaurus figure for Caputation season 3 and 4 I was really excited to find it and um so yeah, this is probably the best Ceratosaurus figure that Mattel's ever made. The paint job is so perfect to like almost to the original uh, Ceratosaurus from Jurassic Park 3. And you could tell that I did repaint the rest of the figure. Shout out to Ted Brothers for inspiring me to do that. But also the thing is that I like how it had unique roars to it than like a T-Rex or an uh, Indoraptor roar. And it has that cool switch to make the mouth open. <laughs> So yeah, one of the best uh, Mattel figures uh, I have gotten in the like small size, like the like the War Horse size for a Carnivore. Well, you know the Sanceratops is my favorite herbivore, Roarvore that came out. So yeah. And for my seventh spot is the Amber Collection Jurassic Park 3 Trinodon. And I do love this figure. It's probably one of my favorite um Amber Collection figure that's out there, and hold on, let me just move the light real quick. So yeah, and you have you seen yet? I did review this guy on the channel, and um, really, really well done for the paint job and articulation from this figure. And um, so it's my number seven spot because I think it's better than the Ceratosaurus and the Sinceratops and Starscream. So yeah, really nice to get this, and it does also have a good memory that my sister bought this for me for my birthday. And yeah, so this is on my number 7 spot. For my number 6 spot is the Precision Series, sorry if I'm saying that wrong, Lightning McQueen. And I did say I was going to review this guy last year, but I never had a chance to do it, because I was busy. So yeah, this is my number 6 spot, one of my first ever Precision Series like uh, cars. And of course, that would be one of the best ones of Lightning McQueen. So yeah, I did get this uh, February of 2021. So yeah, another good memory. 
really excited when Godzilla vs Kong was coming out because we had only had the first trailer. So yeah, this also has a good memory, and I am planning to review this. It's like probably like the only cars I ever, only car item I ever got during last year. Hopefully, I get some more this year because of the Disney Plus series. So yeah, this is my number six spot, right here. For my fifth spot is my Funko Pops, and if you don't know, I'm not a big Funko Pop collector because I was never a big fan of. Funko Pops, I was thinking of getting the Fans of Freddy ones and the Transformer ones, but I never found them. But, uh, for, uh, again, uh, two for uh, one in the area. But, yeah, uh, these are my first Funko Pops I ever got in 2021. And they're part of my favorite figures I ever got during, because that's part of one of the best members. I, If you don't know, I actually am the, I'm a fan of The Last of Us. So I have The Last of Us Part 2 Ellie uh, Funko Pop. Right here. Okay. Let me just show you one. And I will do a video on these guys soon. Right there. I love that picture right there. So, yeah. Ellie right here. And then my other favorite Funko Pop is the Battle Scarred Kong right here. Let me just show you around. And, yep, I will be getting these guys soon, but I haven't found them yet. Again, nice picture, and I'm gonna put them like that. That's really cool and looking. And if you're wondering which was my favorite Funko Pop, it's actually Ellie because I actually have another good memory with this figure. I um, got this for my birthday, again from my aunt, and um, yeah, she ordered it online and it arrived to my house. And again, I am a big Last of Us fan. And Freddy, are you okay? Uh, Freddy's trying to get out of my bed right now, but I have stuff in my bed so he can't get on. But yeah, another good memory I got this. And a memory with this is that I went with my family to the flea market we have nearby. And they had this guy for 20 bucks, but I marked it down to 18 or 17 bucks. So it was a good deal for me because I haven't seen, because my Walmart and Targets do not sell these. And I don't know why they don't sell these. And Ellie, I actually have never seen her on store stealths store shelves there we go and it did say what was it it came out in 2020 i think it was yeah 2020 so yeah i don't think you see these on the store shelves especially from that but yeah another good memory with these guys so this is why to my number fifth spot and for my number fourth spot is the mega punching kong and yes i did do a review of this guy on halloween and he can't fit on my Thing right now, but there he is right there and you can see a picture of my friends and a good thing that my face is not in there because I'm not doing a face reveal until a while yeah so it, yeah this guy again I told you in my video good memory I got this for Halloween I found it on my shelves my store shelves and it's been a figure I've been looking for since it's been leaked uh, when it was first what was it, like 2020 when it was leaked so I was really excited to get this, especially because how huge he is. My goodness, that scared the heck out of me. I have a tin thing right on my bed, it just fell off. Oh, I'm gonna leave it in there. But yeah, uh, yeah, excellent detail on this. Especially the, the light and sound. So yeah, this is why he's on my number four spot. And for my third spot is the Transformers Studio Series 86 Transformers the Movie Dinobot Slug. And I know he's called Slag in the original cartoon, but I grew up calling him Slug. So yeah, I'm going to be calling him Slug. But yeah, a really nice figure I got. I actually got this um, on, uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, December uh, the, third, the 30th. When I got this so a day before New Year. It's a good thing that I finally found this at my uh, Target shelf. There was only like two left there. And yeah, I'm really happy to get this guy. And I will do a, vi a video on this right here. So yeah, and you, you don't know, Dino the Dinobots are my favorite Transformers of all time. And happy to get Slug again. And I just heard from leaks that we're going to get a Studio Series 86 Sludge. Uh, from the leader class line, and I'm hoping we get all the Dinobots. Hoping 
they make Snarl because Snarl wasn't in the 86 movie as much as the other Dinobots. But hopefully, they do a, a Snarl. And this is a really nicely done slug from Hasbro. And this is why it's on my number third spot. Oops, just moved the camera. And for my second spot is, of course, the king of all kings, Grimlock. And you, you guys know that I did a review on this uh, a couple weeks ago. So there, there he is. And I did get him. Uh, I just, I just remembered now that I got him in March of 2021. Found him at my Walmart. And again, this guy is probably my favorite Transformer I have. Of all of the other Transformers I have, I have a couple of Transformers from the Studio Series line, and some from the Last Night of Age of Extinction. But this guy's probably the best one of Transformer figures I've ever had. And this is why he's not my, my second spot on my list. And for my number one spot are two figures that was really hard for me to choose who was my number one and my second. But I decided to do both of them for my number one spot. And as you can see, it's the SH Monster Arts Godzilla vs. Kong Godzilla 2021 and the Extreme Champion Spinosaurus. And it was really hard for me to see who was my number one, but I decided that both of them are my number one fig favorite figures I got of 2021. And yes, I did say when I when I put a video saying I'm back from uh, not doing videos, that I was hinting to do some more SH Monster Arts figures, but he's the only SH Monster Arts figure I have. And my first one, of course. And I will be doing a video on him soon really soon and i was hinting him in my other videos that uh, special figures will be reviewed i did size compare him size uh size compare him to the top of source review but i cut it out because i wanted to make it a secret and the spinosaurus from camper Tatious that i showed in my season four review and again both of them have great memories with them him i got for my birthday from my dad he bought it from Big Bad Toy Store, which again, a really awesome store. You should go check it out. And it had to be um, Godzilla, because Godzilla was the only one they had in stock. Kong, I do have Kong coming in, and he should be getting here soon. But yeah, and um, the Spinosaurus, I did get him for my birthday also from my aunt with the Ellie. And um, right here is that, oh my god, I've been waiting, to, I've, I've been having, Ugh, I, this is how I can't explain myself because I do love this this guy's really much. Um, I got this uh, in May, a couple weeks after my birthday because of shipping. But uh, yeah, the Spinal Source has been a figure I've been wanting to get for three years because it came out in 2018, but Target did not want to restock it. And the Bow Damage one came out, and it was really more hard to find than the original and friendly. I finally got one for my birthday. My aunt did buy for me online. It came from, uh, what's it called? California. And uh, yeah, these two guys are my favorite figures I ever got in the year 2021. Right here. And comment down below which one's your favorite figure that I've showed off here. Yeah, so I need to bring a couple in. So yeah, and Optimus Prime, I did get them from Christmas too, but I didn't put them in the list. But yeah, comment down below who's your favorite figure that I showed, and I will be doing videos of these guys really soon. Hoping that 2022 is much better than 2021. 2021 has been a good year for me. Hopefully, 2022 is a better year because of Jurassic World Dominion, and I can't wait for Jurassic World Dominion. I can't wait for those figures. I can't wait for the Giganotosaurus. The new T-Rex, the, the, the Therizinosaurus, the Quetzalcoatlus. Can't wait for those guys to come out. So yeah, please like, please like, come subscribe. Because I'm going to be doing more videos in the year 2022 now. And yeah, just comment down below who was your favorite figure. Who's your favorite character from my list. And please check out some of my uh, reviews on my channel. And again, please like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.